This is Casual MC. Welcome back. Welcome to Getting By on 2B2T, episode 2. So we did a little bit of work on the building, not a lot. Uh, Mostly we mined diamond and um, got the wheat farm going a little stronger, bred some more cows. Uh, So not really a lot. But today, I want to, want to do an experiment in auto fishing. Now, if you're playing on 2B2T, you should know the advantages of fishing. Um, great source of food, but more importantly, great source of enchanted items, enchanted books, um, other items that are difficult to find, like saddles. I've had so many saddles, I ended up burning a pile of saddles um, just recently. The other advantage, one advantage, if you're fishing away from keyboard, if you're auto fishing, so we have um, auto fish turned on, where is it right there, in, in inside of impact. Uh, we also have auto eat turned on, by the way. Um, generally with anti-hunger, if you're just auto fishing away from keyboard you're not going to eat anyway but um, you know it doesn't hurt to have it on Um, so what's nice is while you're away from keyboard auto fishing not only are you catching a bunch of cool stuff useful stuff but your your world is doing its thing so your crops are growing Um, if you have animals that you're breeding um, and you got baby animals that are growing up so a lot of advantages to auto fishing. Now, uh, what I want to do today, first of all, let me clear out these chests. I know there's some stuff in here. Uh, kind of a pain when you got your inventory full of dirt. I'll explain that in just a second. Um, yeah, we don't have any coal in these furnaces. Oh yeah, we do. Uh, so um, let's see here. <laughs> So why is the inventory full of dirt? Well, you can see my inventory. By the way, I am on my alt account. I'm not on my main account. Um, The main account has, you know, full armor and all that stuff. Um, But what I've done is I've cleared out my main account. uh, I'm sorry, my alt account. And I've just filled his inventory with dirt and a couple of basic necessities, most of, uh, most important of which is a fishing rod. And the most important thing there is that it have mending on it. Got to make sure you got a fishing rod with mending at least. Um, and the other things are just nice to have. Uh, and the only thing shy on this one is lure 2. Uh, if it had lure 3, it would be about as good as you can get. Um, So I've cleared out his inventory and filled it with dirt. That way, anything he catches, he will immediately drop. And what we're going to do is stand on this platform. And anything he catches, he will drop. It will fall through the platform and into the hoppers, below the platforms, and into the chests. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, watch some videos on how to build mob spawners. Basically, when you build a mob spawner, or at least one way to do it, is uh, you build a tower where the monsters spawn, they fall down, they hit um, a platform made of slabs. These are stone slabs. Underneath those slabs are hoppers, and the hoppers run into chests. And these are all empty right now. So anything that falls on this um, platform will actually fall through the platform, go into the hoppers, and end up in the chests. And we can just uh, demonstrate that if we toss a chunk of dirt out there. Uh, If it would land on the hoppers like I'd want it to, that would be great. Okay, there we go. We threw a block of dirt. It hit the platforms, and it should have ended up in one of these. There it is. So anything that hits the platform will end up in a chest. So he's going to be auto-fishing. 
we'll just test it here. Let's, um, oh, great. We got low TPS, I bet. Yeah, it's nine. Not too bad. Um, but we can make a catch. Hopefully we don't have to wait too long, but you know, we're going to get the catch. He's going to drop it and it'll end up in a chest. Now, I'm sure I'm not the first person that's done this. Um, I'm, you know, game's been around a long time. All right, we got some salmon. So, of course, it can't be in my inventory. We don't see it laying out here, so it's got to be in a chest. There it is. Raw salmon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start auto fishing before I go to bed. Um, which for me it's about 8 o'clock, 8 p.m., believe it or not. Um, I get up for work about 4 a.m., and um, start work at 5.30. I get home generally around 2 o'clock, 2.30. So I'm going to start auto fishing at 8 p.m. tonight. And when I get home tomorrow um, afternoon, around 2, 2.30 in the afternoon, uh, hopefully when I turn the computer back on, he's, this guy's still going to be here fishing. And these chests are going to be all full of goodies. So let's see what happens. Come on. Ah. Here we go. All right. See you tomorrow. All right. Next day. So I started auto fishing at 8 p.m. At 4 a.m. I got up for work. And I checked on the game. And our guy was still fishing. And the only problem I saw was that all of the items were going into one of the chests, not all four. I kind of thought that might happen, you know, just because he's standing still, all the items were falling in the same spot, so they were all collecting in one chest. So no big deal. Um, I just moved him over a block and started him auto fishing again, and, you know, went about getting ready for work, went to work, and came home this afternoon about 2 p.m. the following day. So it's about, what is that, 18 hours or so since I started auto fishing. But we ran into another problem, one that I was not expecting and one that I don't understand at this point. When I got home, I check on the game, and this is what I saw, exactly what you see here. The game is paused and he's not fishing. I don't know why this happened. I have absolutely no idea. I mean, I just don't know. So, um, yeah. Um, I do know that he was fishing during the day. Um, and I can show you right here. Um, this chest was the one that was filling between 8 p.m. and 4 a.m., and then this was the chest that started filling. You know, I moved him over a block and everything started going into another chest. And that was this one. So he was fishing for a long time. So why he stopped fishing and the game ended up paused, I have no idea. I'm thinking it was something to do with um, um, the operating system. I'm running, running this on a Mac. And I'm thinking it had something to do with the operating system that it somehow gave focus to another application causing this to pause although I don't know why he stopped fishing completely that doesn't make sense um, but whatever it, it is what it is and we did catch some stuff so let's see what we got so chest number one we've got some typical junk um, blast protection four hey that's nice Lure 2, power 3, feather falling, feather falling 4, oh yeah, yeah, we can use that. And what do we got on the items here? Some bows, power 4, and mending, that's nice. Um, yeah, lots of decent stuff in here. A couple of fishing rods with just mending on them. No books of mending. Oh well. So anyway, we got some good stuff in here. Got some string, can always use string, and we got uh, plenty of fish. 
couple stacks of raw fish and nearly a stack of raw salmon. That's nice. So what's in chest number two? Well, let's see. He was fishing for a long time. Because look at that. There's stacks of fish in here. Almost three stacks of raw fish and a full stack of raw salmon. That's a lot of catches. And a bunch of other stuff. Let's see what we have in books. Give me mending. Give me mending. Respiration 3. That's nice. And yeah. Sharpness 3. Alright, but no mending. We do have fishing rods with mending and bows with mending, but they're pretty much a dime a dozen. What we really want is books of mending. But, not bad. Not bad at all. We can uh, definitely use some of that stuff. Uh, feather falling is awesome. Blast protection is awesome. So, we're on our way. Uh, we're just going to redesign this thing. I think what I'm going to do is make this one platform. Um, and run that into a chest. And then out of that chest we'll put another hopper into another chest. So at least we got... That way we have one stone slab that will feed two double chests. And um, hopefully that's, that should be enough, you would think. I mean, there's quite a bit of room left in in here. And I'm thinking that the reason the first chest isn't as full is because that was in the evening, you know, between like early evening, 8 p.m., and then early morning. And I bet you most of the time while he was fishing there, uh, we were at low TPS. Whereas the other chest was mainly being fished during the day, you know, early morning, afternoon, and not as many players on, and the, I bet you the TPS was a lot higher during that time. Um, let's see, did our crops grow? Let me put Jesus on, there we go. Yeah, I think some of this stuff grew up. I think some of this was still down. So, got some crops grown, got some good items, good enchantments, got a bunch of food. Um, so, time to log off of the um, monkey, <laughs> dirt monkey account and uh, log back onto the main and um, start enchanting some diamond stuff. So, I'm going to call this a success. You know, I mean, we had a few glitches. The one that really concerns me is why the heck did he stop fishing in the game pause? That one I don't, I have no idea. And um, the, you know, individual chest filling thing that's easy to fix. So, but yeah, very successful. Um, so, I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to fix this up and then I'm going to take my alt on here every night before I go to bed. And um, do this until he gets killed and the base gets griefed. And and that's the end of everything as I know it here on 2B2T. So this has been Casual MC. Thank you so very much for watching.